Hey guys, today we will explore about document chaining in ClickSense, which is nothing but uh, how to link two ClickSense dashboards. Okay, I have got two different apps, uh, ClickSense dashboards. Uh, we'll see how to link these two uh, and how to pass selections uh, from one application to another. Uh, I mean, the filter selections and how to you know, pass the selections in the URL. Okay, so we'll explore all those. So what I've got is uh, two uh, different applications with uh, a sample data set. Okay, I've got some month product and some uh, amount and similarly the uh, same data in another app. So now uh, we have to pass uh, my filter selections. Let's say I'm selecting a particular month over here. So I have to capture this and append it into the URL and I have to pass it as a selection to this app. So when this app opens, so it should uh, by default make uh, that selection right so we'll see first how to uh, pass selections in the url okay so later we'll see how to uh, do that from that app to over here and how to automate that so to start with so how do we pass selections in the url okay so what you see here is the actual url right so at the end we'll start by uh, putting a backslash and now i'll say um select okay select slash followed by the field name in our case uh, let me say product so product slash so we have these products right L let's say i'm going to select tv okay so i'll simply say product slash tv enter okay so now what happens is ideally uh, the product TV should be selected. Okay, you see, right? So if I look into the URL, so we are saying select this particular value TV from this field product. Okay, so now it got selected. Now I can copy this. Let me go back to the original. I will just clear this. I will go back to my the original app. So I want to link this app with that, right? So I'll just create a button over here. navigation I'll select open a website or URL so I'll just paste this URL okay so what I'm saying is on click of a button this is the navigation uh, action I'm setting so open this URL okay so let me give some name to this let's say document chaining okay so now click of this should open this app this is the second app okay it's app 2 with this filter okay so we were able to uh, i'm sorry yeah so oh, oh, yeah uh, it opens this app with a hard coded filter okay we are not actually passing any filter let me clear everything over here let me close this so what we have done is hard coded the value in the url itself so every time i click this button it's going to open the app to with this value passed okay since we have directly hard coded it in the url so now uh, there are other scenarios right first we cannot hard code it it has to be dynamic uh, what if i select chair or fan right so it has to pick my selections automatically and it has to pass it that's one uh, challenge other thing is um, the value filters can be multiple values or the fields can be multiple as well right so let's say uh, first multiple values in a uh, field okay so along with tv if i want to select chair okay so now when i press enter so it selects two values right chair and tv okay so what we have to do is uh, separate the values with a uh, semicolon delimiter now i will add one more field okay so i have to start with select now this time i want to select something in the month field so month slash uh, let's say april okay april space 2023 okay because we have the value with space right so now when i hit enter 
so you could see month is also selected along with the product okay so so this is how the format should be so select followed by the field name and if it is a multiple value that should be delimited by semicolon and for the new field again we have to start with select the field name and the value name okay so this is the format we would ideally want okay and this is what we have to automate it so kind of we have to make it dynamic okay so add a text box and i will add this url over here so that will be our reference for a so i'll put that as a string within single quotes and okay so now we got the uh, reference url okay so so with this as a reference we are trying to uh, automate this make it dynamic okay so now the first step is uh, to make it dynamic i have to somehow capture my selections right so i have to know what filters are selected and then i have to append this to the url and they have to i have to pass it to the other app okay so now first how to i capture my uh, filter selection so we have something called get current selections right we have a function to do that so let me add a text box so I'll add get current selections okay so this is going to give me uh, my selections okay let's say i have selected tv i have selected uh, month april 23 so i am getting the uh, selections but the thing is that i have to uh, get it in this format right so this portion of the url is going to be static right from http to analysis but after that starting with select and this entire portion has to be made dynamic okay so first the format is should be in this way so it should be product slash tv not colon tv right and it should be month slash uh, this one okay so what we will do is we will add a delimiter to this okay so i will skip the the first parameter second parameter is going to be our uh, delimiter okay so now we could see these two are delimited by a slash okay now let me select one more okay so now what i say is product slash tv month slash uh, the april 2023 now what we need is we also need this select to be repeated every time right before the field so we will add that uh, text as well okay so within here i will say select okay so we could see select getting appended over here okay but for the first value doesn't appear so we will do that uh, as a hard coded string in the url but later for the next field onwards we will get this select as a prefix right so in that way we can handle this so now we have kind of uh, got this format the only thing is multiple values right so let me select multiple values so let's say tv and chair now you could see chair comma tv separated by comma but what we need is ideally a semicolon okay so let's go back to this formula um, so we will define that over here so the values should be separated by a semicolon okay so now you could see chair semicolon tv uh, let me select multiple months so it's april semicolon may okay so we are good over here the only thing is one more thing is so get sir current selections can handle only few values okay after that it will start showing the numbers not the actual selections so to avoid that i'm just giving some random number here so 200 is max we, we can't define it uh, any number of values you want i so we are not going to make uh, selections more than 200 so i just give a value okay so it's up to us uh, to define any max value okay so with that i think we are done so we kind of have a logic uh, now uh, in in our hand to uh, uh, get these selections right so now what we have to do is we have to append this portion with the base url and uh, pass it uh, the button okay so let me create a button new button okay 
Okay. So I will go back to the original document. Okay. So this is my base URL. This is the URL for this app, right? The app I am going to link. Okay, so I'll just refresh this app. So I'll make sure nothing is selected. This is my base URL. Okay. So in button navigation, open a website or email. Oh, single quotes. Okay, so this is my base URL. I'm going to append this portion to that. Okay, so this portion. Or probably I can copy this. And uh, I can test it over here before I paste it in the button, right? So I can do it that way as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just verifying it. So I just I have the base URL. So I will add slash select. I will hard code this portion. And then the uh, am present so to concatenate this portion okay so now let me copy this entire thing we will also quickly verify if it works the way we want right so state analysis slash select okay so we are missing a slash over here so it should be slash okay so now we have select slash product slash uh, values select month values okay so now we got the url in our required format so now i can paste that in this um, navigation url okay okay so all set so now let me make some selections let's say fan let's say april may okay i'm closing this so now when I click on this button, it should open the new app and it should pass the selections fan and uh, April and May, right? So we got April and May, but not fan. Okay, select product fan, select month. Okay. Okay, so we are still missing a slash over here. Okay. So that is with the get current field selection. So no, we do have a slash over here. I also have a slash over here. Okay. We could see so select slash product slash. Okay. Here the URL looks good. Okay. There is here, okay. Oh, yeah, so here we forgot to add, right? So, this there should be a slash over here, okay? So, now let me close this, re hit, open this, okay, got it, right? So, fan and April and May, okay. So now we were able to capture the selection and we are passed the selection and open the new app and pass it. Okay. So the only prerequisite is the field name should be different. Okay. So here I have month and product and here it has the same name. Okay. So let if, if in case I have a different name. Okay. Let's say here it is called as product one. Let me reload this. Go back clear everything so now this is month and product right now when i open this app the product selections will not be applied because the field names are different and it, it even throws you an error right the field you are trying to make a selection could not be found right so so it won't apply uh, the selections okay uh, when i try it for month alone 
uh, let's say I select only one month, April 23. Now when I pass, so it will work. The month filters will be passed. But when you have product, it won't work because the product names is different, right? So that's one of the prerequisite. Uh, when you chain document chain or link to apps, the field names uh, should be the same, okay? So hope uh, we learned uh, document chaining and we got a basic understanding of how to pass selections in the URL and how to make it uh, dynamic and how to automate it and how to uh, do it with the help of a button, right? Please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification. Thanks for watching.